And uh, away they go. Gotcha Buzz absolutely walked out of the stalls, is at least 10 lengths behind the second last horse. One of the first to go is Tartan Queen. That's all off to lead them. Racing in second, the Peconita, the black cap, racing just off the fence. Global scene along that one's inside. Then came Tune again. Far side of those is Elusive Marta, three off the fence of the pink cap and circling horses. Then came behind those runners towards the inside, Royal Venus, followed further back in the field by Tune again in the yellow cap between runners. Green Fame is outside of those. My True Love is behind that third to last. Then came behind that one, Forest Fantasy. And Gotcha Buzz is caught up to the field, racing at the back, is racing about 12 lengths off the leader. Top of the lane now, 400 metres from the judge, and Tartan Queen guides them in. Elusive Marta on the attack down the centre. La Peconita, the black cap, is towards the outside, running strongly, and Global Scenes on the far side. The pink sleeves also getting into it. So too, Green Fame, the outside, and further back in the field is Royal Venus. It's Green Fame and La Peconita. Global Scenes on the far side. My True Love running on strongly, but Green Fame will get there. My True Love second, La Peconita third. Followed further back in the field, then by Global Scene in fourth. Yes, your head on replay. So Elusive Marta went on the attack at the top of the straight as Tartan Queen started to go backwards early. Then Global Scene on the left hand side. My True Love is two off the right hand side. The green and black colours running strongly, but your winner is in the red sleeves and stripe cap, about three off the right hand side, and that is victorious. We're going to have a look at uh, the start again. I'd like to see what happened with Gotcha Buzz. We're calling with the binoculars, so we've got a side on view. Welcome back, and green fame gets it right for Kelly Mitchley and to Lawrence Verners and family, and whoa, what a beautiful pedigree green fame has as well. I've got Julius with me. He's standing in here for the winning groom that's going to get the money from World Sports Betting. That is Jan Dieswe. So very well done to Jan Dieswe. We did say in the parade ring, pick of the parade ring was number four, and that's green fame. So well done to all the winning connections, and thanks so much to World Sports Betting. Thanks, Julius. Tremendous. Right now, Samanga's running away to get his cap on. He's come and chat to us here as well. Um, Samanga's riding all Kelly's horses today, so take note of that as well. And um, I must say, these colours, we saw them on the weekend. We've seen them all over. Nice to have these winners. But I was looking at the pedigree now. Uh, Green Fame really has got a stunning, stunning pedigree. Moved well to post, looked well. Tell us about it. Um, uh, the first time uh, uh, she went in a little bit uh, early in the gate and uh, 1,200 metres uh, stood there for quite some time when the gate opened. We were slightly slow to stride and uh, I tried to uh, just to ask her to just to stay with the field and uh, she just didn't like it and uh, I think at about the 400 she started to come back and uh, uh, she ran quite a nice race and I thought, oh wow, well, you know, if we can go on a poly, it's much more surface, okay. which is nice and even and uh, um, she she will come out and then from there on watch, you know, wherever we are and we can always build up and uh, today, um, she came out quite well, but the, the speed early part was quite, uh, uh, it, was, uh, it was on and I thought, uh, um, let me rather follow something and uh, I think at about the 700 and I'm starting to travel and I thought, oh wow, this is, this is the time now, I can't be holding on, let me just go around them and uh, allow it to uh, improve a position and uh, every time she's improving, even that, the third horse, uh, um, when she joined and, uh, you know, she fought on game league on obviously uh, I think it was a quite a nice win big well done to Mr. Werner's big well done to Kelly and uh, you know um, obviously as you know she's well bred but uh, yeah. you know uh, at least we got the win out of her and uh, and then uh, obviously we'll leave everything to Kelly and see what the, the next uh, outcome from here so again to my sponsors Maurice Fontaine Vokobos Shift well done to them and uh, to the grooms you know obviously uh, being uh, last uh, day of the season in NPA, so well done for everyone for putting in the hard work and uh, you know uh, leading in the winners and uh, all the record that were broken and uh, all the achievements. So big well done to everybody and uh, whoop whoop. 
whoop, whoop. And we heard that yesterday out at Hollywood Bets Gravel as well on the ride of the day as well. Kelly, nice to have you in the winner's box here. You did give us the heads up with regards to having an each way chance, working well each way chance. And uh, Mr. Verners will be very, very happy. We were chatting just off air before I started the, the preview, the um, post-race interview now. Um, lovely bread for this. Yeah, she's very well bred. She was actually supposed to go to stud. She actually just stayed for this run. So, because I said she had a nice chance in this race, I was surprised at seeing her such a big price in the race as well. I thought she was a bit better <laughs> than the ones in the field because yeah. we know what we've worked her with and what uh, the lines are at work. So, I thought she had a big chance in this field. But I think she's off to stud now after this, <laughs> this lovely win because she's so well bred. Sure. So, why keep her racing if she can have her at stud? Tremendous. There's an extra check coming the way of Mr. Verners as well, so Lawrence will be happy with that. Let's lift it up, Marilyn, so they can see the 5,000 Rand Racehorse Association member, 5,000 Rand for today's meeting. So thanks, Marilyn. Yeah, just a huge well done to Mr. Verners and his family, and just want to say a huge thank you for the support he has in my stable. It's supported me since the start, so very grateful for that. And also just a huge thank you to my to my amazing team that we've grown, um, to Kyle, to Montana, to Julius and Sandile. What an amazing team we are. And I must say just a big thank you to my staff as well, my grooms. They're all amazing. And our sponsor, Betway South Africa. All right. And we are just a couple away from you getting to the big 80 winners. Yeah, just two more to go. Hopefully, Zamanga said he wants to try and do it for us today, <laughs> ride all three. I said it's going to be a tough task. You know, when you're trying to get to a goal, it just takes a bit longer than expected. And today is the last meeting of the season, so normally it takes a bit longer. No, no, no. Stick around. I think we might <laughs> just get there. And we're going to go there now in the next race. You've got Crimson Comet. The, what you sent through to me this morning, you said you can't separate your runners coming up um, both in with a chance. Yeah, Port Cullis and Crimson Comet both have been really good at work. I think last time out, Port Cullis just ignore that run. And um, Crimson Comet ran a good last race. I think both are should fight out the finish to me. All right, so you get each way chance. I like both. both of them quite strong, yes. Okay, then we're going to move on a couple of races to Caddy Mumbo. Now, you, your comment is he's come on a lot from his, his runs. He's working very well, and I give him an each way chance. Yes, he's getting better and better at work. He's stronger in the beginning. He used to not put too much in at work, and then he's been showing a little bit more and more every time. But I really do give him a big each way shot in the race. All right, now a runner that I never included until I saw your messages coming through a little bit later on in the day is Seattle Ripper, putting up good work at home and expecting an each-way chance. Yeah, Seattle Ripper, it's, I think it's about his time to win a race now. Yeah, MPE, he's had all the chances. He's been running quite close, just a few lengths off some decent horses. So I do give him an each-way shot in the race. All right, Kelly, it's lovely having you back in the winner's box and hopefully we'll see you later. Thank you so much. Well, there we go, folks. That's Kelly Mitchley Racing. She doubled her figures from last year, 40. They're trying to get to the 80, and we know the mark for next season is 100. So just note that down and follow her. She's really doing exceptionally well here for the entire season. There's seldom a meeting that goes past that she doesn't end up having a winner or two. Well done to Mr. Verners.